Hey friends, it's Shannon here, and this is part two of exploring abstract painting. If you watched my first video, you know that I went through quite a bit of a roller coaster with layering paint and just being really frustrated with what I was seeing and not quite knowing what to do next. So I changed things up on this second day of working on the painting. I was still sitting at my workspace, but I opened the shades of the window to let some sunlight in. I put on some music. I was listening to Tom Petty, Wildflowers, and some other just really soothing, nice music to put me in a better mood. And as you can see, I started by layering some white paint on top of what had dried to create a little bit of a blank canvas, but as you can see, a lot of texture. And I realized a lot of my frustration from that first day of painting was because I had been watching other artists' videos and I, I just came to the realization that I was trying to do what they do. I was trying to create art in their style instead of following my own intuition and following my own style. So I decided to just kind of shake all of that off and reset my brain a little bit, reset my creative brain. And listening to the song Wildflowers, it's just such a nice melody and it's a nice message it's a beautiful song and if you take a little bit of time to listen to it you might understand how that kind of guided guided my work going forward on this piece i just started thinking about being outside and kind of feeling that warm spring air and seeing all these colors blooming and i just got this idea in my head of I wanted a lot of warmth. I wanted a lot of warm reds and oranges and yellows that just felt like a big hug of sunshine. <laughs> so I started playing around a little bit with different marks that represent flowers, different sizes, different shapes and colors. And I just tried to keep a mindset of being open to seeing where it went. You know, at this point, I still didn't know what I was going to be doing to get an end result, but I, I didn't feel as frustrated. I just kind of, I felt at ease. I felt happy about the marks, even if I didn't know what it was going to look like. I, I surrendered to the process. <laughs> you can see I did some red paint drips at the top of the canvas board. I played a lot with adding white but blending it a little bit more into the colors that were already there. I felt like I learned a lot about applying layers and you'll see that I spent some time throughout this video using a blow dryer to kind of speed up the process of drying the layers so that it wouldn't blend and get too muddy. So you know, we're always learning, we're always trying new things, we're always approaching our work with hopefully an open mind that It doesn't always have to be fun, but you can do things to help. You can do things to get out of a funk. And you know, some days it just takes walking away and getting a good night's sleep <laughs> and getting some fresh eyes and a fresh mindset on a project. Just playing with adding some little marks of warm crimson red. Just 
And I kind of knew at this point I had put a lot of green down and I didn't want a lot of green in the final piece. I wanted some green to show through, so I'm glad that I added it early on in this day of painting so that I could paint on top of it and it would be there, but not, not as prominent. And you can see that I'm turning, <laughs> I'm turning the painting around because I learned rewatching the video that sometimes looking at it upside down helps you see it in a different way. So I mixed up this nice warm orange, it's kind of a darker, really rich orange, not very bright, but just very soothing to look at. I really love working with the vibrant colors and I think the other thing I was struggling with the other day was feeling like I had to keep toning it down. And when I sat down to paint yesterday, I said, you know what, this is gonna be a colorful piece. I'm not gonna fight that. It's just a matter of making the colors work in a way that feels right for me. <laughs> you'll see I start to add in more white here and start building out the composition and the flow of the piece. It's so interesting going through this process and knowing where I was the day before and where it ultimately ends up. It's completely different. Which I think, you know, is also part of the process of painting abstract. It's fighting the urge to make it look like something and really just going with the feeling and the energy of what you have in mind and how you are feeling in the moment. I was definitely in a much better mood sitting down to paint on this day than I was the day before. I felt more confident because I had taken the time to go back and watch and learn from different marks that I made and different techniques that I was trying out. It really is a process. And if you are learning or want to learn to paint abstract, I cannot urge you enough to just start and just try and don't be afraid to have those bad days, have those days that are incredibly frustrating where it feels like it was a waste of time, where it feels like it was a waste of materials, it was not. You know, every single time you sit down to paint and to create, you're gonna learn something. You're gonna experience new ideas, new perspectives, and it's all part of the process, and it's all part of learning, you know? We're always learning. I really, I have to say, I really love <laughs> this blue that I mixed up. I took a cerulean and added a little bit of white to it and it just made it really soft and light. There's my hair dryer. <laughs> I also wanted it to feel like, you know, when you look at the sky and it's just that really clear, beautiful blue color. I wanted this piece to feel warm and peaceful and vibrant. So I really think by the end I achieved that feeling. I didn't think it was going to take this long and this many layers to get there, but I'm really grateful for this process. And I think that's why I decided to start doing this so that I could learn from myself and really push myself outside my comfort zone. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I think I might be helping my kids bring their bikes inside. They were playing outside after school, which was also nice. It's nice to see my kids out playing and enjoying spending time outside. All right, I think this point is where it really started to take shape for me. I took these big daubs of white paint, just plain white, right out of the tube onto a palette knife, and I just started scraping it. And what it did was it caught the texture that I had already created, layers upon layers of texture, and it really made this nice brushed across effect that helped give me that white space I wanted. I didn't want it to just be all color. I wanted to lighten it up and balance 
all the color that I knew I was still going to be adding. And it also helped me clean up some of the spaces that did feel a little bit muddy. And then I mixed up this really nice red, it's almost like a orange red. I had added um, some yellow ochre to my cadmium red. Made kind of like a burnt orange. And these kind of organic rectangular shapes you're seeing are kind of like tulips. I'm just imagining like lots of different flowers, different shapes, different sizes. I'm playing with adding different tones on top of that. Here I'm adding some navy blue marks to add some depth. It's all about learning to make a composition and making sure I have my lights and my shadows balanced. And I wanted to add lightness to the piece, but I also want to make sure it's interesting to look at. You know, if you squint your eyes and you kind of start to just see the lights and the shadows instead of colors, it's an interesting thing to do. Sometimes I take a picture of my art and I desaturate it, which means I take out the color so it's just a black and white to make sure there isn't too much light or too much shadow from what I want when I want to make a balanced composition. You know, sometimes we create art that is very dark or very light, but this one I wanted to have a nice balance of both. Adding some yellow to really warm it up. At this point, I was having fun. I was surrendering to what it looked like, and it really did start to feel special and I felt connected to it. So here I'm using a Posca paint pen. It's a white paint pen and I just started creating some marks, some smaller marks to add some interest and some texture within some of the bigger spaces of blues and pinks. I was playing around with some lines and a lot of teeny tiny dots you'll see. I'm working really into these little spaces so that from far away it's interesting to look at but you get even closer and you'll see in the final picture these little teeny dots add so much energy to the piece and this is kind of the fun part this the playful part I also realized I was allowing what others might think about this to get into my head on that first day. You know, not everyone loves abstract art. Not everyone enjoys looking at it. Um, and that's fine, you know, we all, we all have our things we enjoy. We all have our styles we enjoy. But I was, you know, wondering, oh, is this too much? Is this too weird? It doesn't matter. It just matters if I enjoy it, if it's true to my own style and my own artistic expression. I was having a lot of fun adding those little white dots. I really made it my own. A little wild, really warm, and I can say I was truly happy with this piece and how it turned out. And I'm really really grateful to have recorded this whole process so I could go back and see where it started and see where I ended up and how I felt at the beginning and how I felt at the end.
at this point, this is where I'm just looking at it and deciding, yep, I'm done. I wanted to show off the texture on this piece. You can't quite tell from looking at it straight above, but there is so much. And what I really love about it and why I love creating work with so much texture is I want people to look at it and feel like they want to reach out and touch it. And you can. My husband asked, he was like, can I touch it? It looks like something that would be fun to touch. <laughs> and I said, yes, of course. It's all part of the experience, right? And there's my final piece. I haven't named it yet. I'm gonna sit with it today and think about what I want to name it, but I appreciate you watching and I want to encourage you to try new things. Don't be afraid, get messy, get frustrated, and then see things from a new perspective.